Thank you so much for coming back to the second part of uh, my interview with Brother John Aaron Sebia. And uh, yeah, he's going to continue to share his heart today with, with us concerning uh, evangelism, reaching out, loving folks, sharing the true gospel with them. And uh, he's got, after that, he's got a word for us concerning just the reality of the pandemic and what God is doing in the middle of it, I think. Amen. So, uh, brother, you go right ahead and share us your, the story you wanted to concerning that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to, um, you know, because the memories of the past that we had, I, some of you probably remember the evangelism that we used to do many years ago. Even though some churches still go out today, but, it, you know, in the 80s and 90s, it was something different. So this Saturday, we used to go to parks and beaches and that. So this yeah. Saturday, we're particularly going to the East End beaches in Toronto. Okay. So it was sunny. Yeah. So we're there at 6 o'clock. We're praying until 8 o'clock, ready to go and take the world for Jesus. The megaphone all ready. Yeah. Boxes of tracks and, and uh, banjos, tambourines. Oh, a banner. We had a banner as well. Yeah. So we go to the beach. And we used to gather, once we get there, we used to make a circle just to get our minds in place and pray. Yeah. And uh, and then it started to rain. Mm. Bump, 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 bump. And we all looked at each other and said, wait a minute, Lord. You knew that we were coming here. Why is it raining today, right? Mm. And it was raindrops keep falling on our heads, you yeah. know? Yeah. So and it began to pour, brother. So we grabbed everything and we looked. Far ahead, there was um, a shelter. Yeah. Right? So we started running towards the shelter. And as we got to the shelter, this is how God works. You know, as we got to the shelter, the place was packed with about 200 people. Yeah. <laughs> and here we're all soaked and wet. Yeah. We got Bibles, tambourines, banners. We have a megaphone, yeah. and we all looked at each other. And we said, oh, man. <laughs> so we went there. We formed yeah. ourselves against the wall. So we had a congregation yeah. there, <laughs> and we started to sing. Oh, wow. And the presence of God came. Wow. And then we started to preach. I started to preach. Yeah. And then another guy, his name is Rick Dorazio. He's pastoring now in, uh, in Toronto, yeah. in Mississauga. Yeah. So he grabbed... You know, the power was so strong, he grabbed my megaphone and he wanted to preach. Yeah. You know, people getting saved. Wow. Set free and that. So yeah. then the rain stopped. Yeah. So we were ministering and praying for people. And, and, you know, we were about, I don't know, 60, 80 that time. So, you know, we, we had a lot of people there to uh, touch people's life. And then after that, he poured again and we had a second service that wow. day. Wow. But you see, Jesus. Never say stayed. Yeah. You see, in the Bible, I believe in Samuel chapter 11, he says, you know, it was time when kings go out to battle. Right. That David stayed. Mm. Mm. So David stayed, and that's when he got tempted. Mm. That's when he committed adultery that led to, that led to uh, murder. Mm. So what was, you know, people say, oh, he was an adulteress. No, mm. he stayed. Mm. So you see, we are called to go. Amen. But if we stay, mm. we're going to live miserable lives. Yeah. We're going to live in lack. Yeah. We're going to live with, with nothing, you yeah. know, just, you know, drooling to get something from God that we're not getting. Yeah. But uh, and that's when the next subject comes in. Yeah. So when the, when the enemy knows that we're lacking things, mm. then he will manifest something that looks like God. Yeah. And because we're hungry, yeah. we'll grab it. Yeah. And I believe that that's what's happening in the world today. Wow. So there's many gospels, mm. doctrines of devils. A lot of people have gone from the truth to uh, chaos. I yeah. mean, we have so much garbage out there today. Mm. You know, and, and today, you know, uh, 
I wrote something on Facebook yesterday. My heart just breaks at the deception that we see now in churches today. Yeah, yeah man. You know, and the reason that we that the reason that the devil has moved in so strong is because we stayed. Yeah, we're not going. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah. You know, I remember you know when um, the pandemic came. You know, yeah. we want to talk about the pandemic. My first message mm. of the pandemic, you know, it was crazy. Remember, you know, those days that, well, let's clean even the groceries yeah. Yeah. because we, we, you know, we couldn't see the virus. Right. We couldn't see, you right. know, and we, and we were bombarded by the media. Yeah. So, you know, I was in Toronto when SARS came in. So mm. I had a little bit of experience, mm. but SARS was not overblown like this one was. Yeah. So, uh, you know, my wife was, you know, wash everything, make sure you don't touch anything, make sure, you know. So we're going through the motions on that. Yeah. And uh, all the churches shut down, the whole world was shut down. And that was a time for us as leaders to mm. come up with the word of the Lord, mm. you know. And I, and I said, Lord, what, you know, this is not a surprise to God. Mm. Why? You know, and then you see preachers all over the world commanding this thing to go mm. and up to now it hasn't gone mm. so mm -hmm. so you know my thing is this you know if if it's if it's not a surprise to god mm. what is god saying mm. through this problem this situation mm. i never forget and it's on youtube um the problem is not COVID 19. Mm. Mm. that was my first message that i preach it says the problem is the heart of man mm. i says this is not a surprise to God, but mm. God will use anything like this mm. to bring us back to where we ought to be. Mm. In my, you know, we used to go to the grocery stores and okay. I will go to people and I will say, you know, I says, maybe, just maybe, we have taken things for granted mm. and God is trying to get our attention mm. to make us grateful of what we have here in Canada. Mm. 99.9 .9, except one guy they all say sir you must be right <laughs> you know mm. because you see the bible says the goodness mm. of the lord mm. leads men to repentance Amen. you see canada mm -hmm. u.s and other countries they have been over blessed yeah. by god yeah. but we have less of god mm. then you go to places like cuba <coughs> or third world countries mm. africa they have not all the blessings that we have here, yeah. but yet, what do they have? More of God. Yeah. They pray. Yeah. They cast out devils. Yeah. They live in the gospel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They know what witchcraft is. Yeah. Over here, we avoid it. You know, yeah. our yeah. churches are getting full of witches and stuff like that. Mm. And I, you know, and 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 we have to realize that until mm. this is my personal opinion, until the mm -hmm. the church until Christians realize why we're facing a pandemic and the, and some people say, oh, it's phony. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, we have been affected. Everybody's oh, been affected yeah. and we live with uncertainties now. Yeah. So if we live with uncertainty, <coughs> what is God saying to me? Mm -hmm. To me, it was the best thing that happened to mm -hmm. me. I became more spiritual. Yeah. I began to hear God born. Yeah. And I says, mine. I says, you know, then he reminded me to the persecuted church in Iran. Mm. And I, I was reading this before the pandemic and listening to some of the videos uh, of the persecuted church in Iran. Mm. And they said, don't give us what you have. Right. Leave us under persecution. Because under persecution, <clears throat> we are winning thousands to wow. Jesus. Wow. We don't want what you want. And he mm. says the biggest evangelist that Iran has is our government. Mm. They're so corrupt that the people don't want the <laughs> government. Yeah. So they're looking for an alternative. Yeah. And they say one thing. So, you know, when I listened to that, yeah. brother, uh, I, I felt like a backslider. Yeah. Because they say that every time the wife or the husband leaves the house, yeah. that could be the last day. Wow. Wow. So when they, they don't believe in conversion, they believe in discipleship. Mm. And that through the whole video, they continue to say the word discipleship mm. because 
uh, you can't go and preach to anybody. Mm. So it has to, you have to be wise, you know, in how you share the gospel to people. Yeah. And when the people say yes to Jesus, they're saying yes to die for Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So yeah. Jesus said, he says, guys, don't glow too much. Yeah. He says, if you don't love your mom, your dad, and this and that, if you love them more than me, he yeah. says, you know, you're not fit to be my disciple. Right. You got to go all out for me. Yeah. You know, and that's what we're missing. Yeah. Love the Lord your God with yeah. all your heart, mind, and soul. That's what we're missing. If you obey those two commandments, Jesus said, yeah. you've done it all. That's right. But that's where we're failing. We don't love him. We love our convenience. We yes. like the materialism. Yes. We are mad. You know, we're fighting for to go back to a building. I believe that there is a force here mm. in Nova Scotia mm. that does not want Nova Scotia to succeed. Oh, I believe it. I, I do. Many, yeah. many, many prophecies yeah. over the years was that revival to Canada will yeah. come from the east. But I, I truly believe that Nova Scotians are an incredibly talented, yes. gifted group of people. And uh, I, I think the influence they can have can be so powerful, so dynamic uh, on any stage, be it a world stage, be it locally, whatever. Just when when you come out of yourself and come out from under what the enemies put you under, so many great things are going to happen that this area is under a unique oppression, a unique attack. And I believe it's going to break. I believe it's going to break too. You know, two years, three years ago, there was a group from B Alberta, yeah, uh, friends of a friend of mine, that came here for two, three weeks. Yeah. Felt of the Lord to come here at their own nickel to fast and pray for this thing because they still feel that revival to Canada will come from the East. Wow. I, I hope that is I impacting. believe that. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that. I hope that's impacting anyone who's watching yeah. this. Yeah. That's exciting. So, you know, if, 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 if God wants to do something like that, let's get ready. Okay. Right? Yeah. Let's not wait for him to move. He's waiting for us to move <laughs> so he can move. Yeah, amen. Yeah, that's exciting. Boy, that is great. Um, yeah, okay. I don't want to. Brother, do, do, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Just one thing to you encourage people. You go right ahead. People, please do. Please people. go right ahead. And, you know, I heard uh, something a couple of days ago. Yeah. And, um, and he said that he went to a store in uh, Beverly Hills mm. to buy a, a shirt. Yeah. Just a T-shirt. And he saw the tag, and it says 600 bucks, U.S. Wow. And he says, something wrong with this. So he went up to the cashier and said, excuse me. He says, you know, there's something wrong with the, with the tag here. It says $600. Oh, he says, it's on sale, half price, 300 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, wait a minute. But even $300 for a T-shirt is too much money. And she says, it's not the T-shirt, but it's the brand. Right. of the t-shirt right. that you're paying the money for. Right. So, you see, we have Christ mm. in us. We are so valuable. Yeah, amen. You know, because Christ lives in us and uh, he's given us the opportunity to be the living epistles, to be a reflection of who he is. Yeah. But what we have to do is is that get back to where we ought to be in the right standing with the Lord, yeah. to be able to see Him as He is, yeah. but to see ourselves amen. as we are. Oh, amen. In Him. Amen. Because when we realize that, I mean, there's a lot of energy here in the province. Yeah. I seen it back in the in the in nineties when I came here as an evangelist. Man, people were, you know, were on fire for God. They, you know, good preaching, good yeah. singing, you know, look at Cape Breton. They have the best fiddlers. You oh, know, there, there's a lot of music over here. Yeah. And um but I believe that we need to realize who is our brand. That is Jesus Christ the yeah, Lord. Amen. We are not of this world. Yeah. We are aliens to this world. Our kingdom is the kingdom of amen. God. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And, and you know, we are represent, you know, we got to walk with our head up no yeah. matter what struggles we go through in life. Yeah. We got to look at the devil into his face and say, devil, you know, 
God has given us power over all the power of the enemy of you, and yeah. nothing shall be any man hurt us. Yeah. Greater is he that is in me, that is he that is in the world, and no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Why? Yeah. I'm a child of God, you yeah. know, and I Amen. believe that that's the spirit that needs to rise up you once know, one, again. One thing I can I can tell, I can tell you <laughs> today that uh the spirit of evangelism is contagious because <laughs> brother here has definitely got the spirit of evangelism <laughs> and I can feel it this close to him. So I hope you can feel it too. I'm going to ask uh, brother John to pray for you uh, before we call it quits here today. And just that this excitement, this openness to share your faith would start consuming you because I believe it's consumed him. And, uh, and, and whatever God wants to do in his life and through this small uh, snippet of it will happen. We're going to leave some information about him at the end of the show. Contact him, please. The brother is true and sincere in what he's trying to say here today. And uh, talk to him. But I'm going to ask him to pray for us just that we, we grab a hold here of the Lord's heart for this province. And... Uh, we don't miss this opportunity because time is something that's awful hard to replace. Amen. And so let's let's uh, let's take advantage of what we have right in front of us today. Brother John, could you pray for us? Yes. Uh, just one word as I pray it is uh, yeah. the word is righteousness. Yeah. You know, we have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And a lot of interpretations in the Bible about righteousness mm. is being in the right standing with God. Mm. God is dying for us to be in the right standing with him mm. so he can pour all the benefits of the word of God and of heaven mm. for us. I mean, God is waiting for us. Mm. So my encouragement is for all of us mm. to come under him and to be in the right standing with him mm. so that we, you know, we can experience what the book of Acts experience yeah. and to be the people of the Bible. Yeah. So Father God, I thank you for this opportunity. Mm. I thank you for your presence. Yes. I thank you, Father, that it's not by might, it is not by power, mm. but it's by your Spirit, O oh God. Mm. Thank you, Father. I pray, God, that we will look to you. Mm. Lord, we've been hit left, right, and center, fears that we have faced and disappointments, uh, mm. so much, mental illness, mm. all these things that have affected the world and even our nation. Mm. God save God. Canada. Amen. The uncertainties of the world doesn't control us. Mm. You know, we, we got to look to God. Mm. When Jehoshaphat was faced with all these armies coming against him, mm. he says, but we have fixed our eyes on God. Mm. These are times to fix our eyes on God mm. and allow God to minister to us yes. in this hour. Yes. So, Father, I sense the anointing of God and you're touching people. Yes. as we speak. Yes. And right now, Father, I release your power. I, I join forces with my yes. brother here. Amen. Lord, whatever we agree, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Amen. Whatever we lose on earth shall be losing in heaven. Yes. And right now, we agree right now. The yes. power of agreement, oh God. Yes, Lord. Be made whole by the power of God Amen. in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Physically. Yes. Spiritually. Emotionally. Yes. Financially. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing today. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And encourage your people, Father. Yes. Lord. God, that you are not sleeping. Mm. Oh, God, you are well awake in this hour. Yes. And you're doing a mighty work in the heart of your people, oh, God, in this hour hour. Yes. So, Father, I release the blessing of God. Yes. Right now, we release the blessing of God upon every home, every marriage, yes. every relationship. Yes. Lord, for the next generation, yes. we pray for every pastor, yes. every leader in this province, Father. Yes. Visit them. Yes. Oh, God, touch them. Encourage them. Yes. Meet their needs, oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. And, Lord, that as leaders, Lord, that they will lead, yes. oh, God, in this hour, that the you know, people are in desperate need of a leader of God to lead them in the ways of the Lord. Yes. So, Father, touch them. Touch their homes, their families. Yes. Oh, God, in Jesus' name. Yes, and let God arise in this hour. Yes, and let the enemies of God be scattered 
in the name of Jesus. So, Father, yes. bless this nation. Yes. Bless this province, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. And, Lord, let us be in a right standing with you mm. to receive the move of the Spirit of God mm. that you have purpose in this hour. Mm. For you have heard the cry of the hearts of your people in this region, yes. and you're coming down for them. Yes. You will never leave us nor forsake us, nor fail us. Mm. Lo, I am with you, you said. Lo, I am with you to the end. Amen. Father, help people to realize today that we have not been left mm. by God, mm. but our Father is right with us Amen. till the end. Amen. So, Father God, bless your people in this hour. Thank yes. you for my brother, God. Bless this uh, way of social media, touching mm. the lives of people. Mm. I pray, Father, your blessing, your anointing Thank upon you, him. Yes. Oh, God, give him words of wisdom. Give him words yes. for the people Amen. because we need encouragement. We yes. need encouragement, and we also need the waking up part yes. as well, Father God. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, so I bless him. I bless his home. Amen. I bless the family, oh, God, in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, you, your word says that if they receive us, to leave our peace. Mm. And Father, I rest my peace in this place. Amen. And I speak the blessing Amen. of God. Thank you. Strengthen them. Mm. Lord, you know all of their needs. Mm. In the name of Jesus, mm. praying healing. Mm. Praying whatever he needs. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him. And give him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus... Every knee shall bow. Amen. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord mm. to the glory of God our Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And thank you so much, Brother John. And we will see you next week. Please enjoy uh, any music that follows and uh, come back again next week. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> and, and dumping God maybe stressed huge on the relationships and things, right? And I just thought it would be really cool to sing this song because it's a song that... Uh, I'll read you some of the words, and you can sort of, you know, it's just the strength of marriage, and, and for people to remind themselves, especially as Christians, where the marriage came from, that God had planted everything, so... Ready? Just in time? Yeah. God brought us together from his very heart A gift that would last for all time Like Adam and Eve, we were made for each other Our marriage was God's own design Our Heavenly Father planned so long ago That our lives would be shared as a family and home no greater friend could you give me, my Lord, than the wife that you've given to me. Even if there was some fountain of youth, my desire is to grow old with you. Together we'll live in the times we've been given and I'll treasure my lifetime with you our heavenly father planned so long ago that our lives would be shared as a family and home and no greater friend could you give me my lord than the wife that you've given to me forever God and be praised for planting your love inside each of our hearts to guide our ways and to guide our ways throughout the years as we've been together your friendship gets sweeter to me 
Though we've grown older, our family is stronger and closer than it's ever been. Our Heavenly Father planned so long ago that our lives would be shared as a family and home. And no greater friend could you give me, my Lord, than the wife that you've given to me. Our Heavenly Father planned so long ago that our lives would be shared as a family and home. And no greater friend could you give me, my Lord, than the wife that you've given to me.